Hi there, it's Amit from WP Expo. Today, I will show how you can add the currency switcher features to a WooCommerce store so that the shoppers can change the default currency to their desired currency. For that, I will be using the currency switcher add on of Product X. So, first of all, make sure you have the Product X plugin installed on your site. After properly installing the plugin, go to the add on section of Product X and turn on the currency switcher add on. Now, Click on the setting section. Here you can see that one currency is already added and it is the default currency of our e-commerce store. Now we will add two more currencies which are Euro and Canadian Dollar. However, you can add as many currencies as you want. To add a currency, click on the add item button. Select your desired currency from the drop down and then configure it by filling the required fields. Now, add the conversion rate from your default currency to the new currency. You can add the exchange fee if required. For now, I am going to keep it to zero. You can also hide any payment method for this particular currency so that the shoppers will not be able to use the disabled payment method while paying with this currency. After configuring the currency, click on the save button. Now, I will also add the Canadian dollar currency by following the same steps. After properly adding and configuring the currencies, we have to add the current switching option to our desired pages. First of all, I would like to add it to the shop page. For that, I am going to create a custom shop page using the WooCommerce Builder add-on of Product X. First of all, make sure you have turned on the Builder add-on. Then go to the Builder section and you will see all available options. For now, let's click on the shop as we want to create a custom shop page. Now you can see that either we can start from scratch or use a pre-made template. Let's use the pre-made template. For that we need to click on the import button. The pre-made template has been imported and the shop page is almost ready. Now we have to add the currency switcher block to our desired position. Just click on the plus icon located on the left side. Then drag and drop the currency switcher block to your desired position. After adding the block, we can also customize it by using the block setting section located on the right side. Let's see what are the customization options available. Starting with the currency symbol position option between left and right. Then we can adjust the border radius, margin and padding. Then we can also turn off the flag if we don't want to display it. The field section contains various customization options including text color, hover color, hover background color and so many more. At last but not the least, we can also change the prefix text color and typography. After doing all required customization, we just need to click on the publish button and see how it looks in the front end. Here you can see that the currency switching option has been added to the shop page and when we change the default currency to another one, all the prices are converted to the selected currency. The currency is also updated on single product page, cart page and checkout page as well. Now what if you also want to display the currency switching option to the product pages? Don't worry, product X got your back. The powerful WooCommerce builder of product X helps you to create custom templates for all required pages and replace them with the default WooCommerce template. So, as we want to add the currency switching option to the product pages, we have to create custom single product page template along with the currency switcher block. Similarly like the shop page, we can start with the pre-made template and then add the currency switcher block. After adding the block, we need to click on the publish button. Once we click on the publish button, we also need to select the condition. As we want to use the template for all product pages, we are keeping it as it is. But you can also make defined template for specific product pages by typing the product name here. After selecting the condition, we need to click on the save button and then click on the publish button again. Now, the shoppers can also change the currency from the product pages. That's all from this video. You can learn more about the currency switcher from the blog post and the link will be in the description. Don't forget to like, subscribe and share this video.